out here. It smells the wings. What's up YouTube? This is Outdoor Chef Life. We're out in Mendocino today on low tide in Samuni. And then you could just grab it? Like... Yeah, they won't stab you. Yeah, that's a good one right there. Yup, just pick it up. All good. Yeah, tide's coming in though, so we gotta work fast. Yeah, let me look let me look out here a little more. There are a ton of abalone here, but abalone season is closed for 2018 so we're not harvesting any of those today but what we are harvesting is sea urchin one of my favorite one of my all time favorite I think we're probably going to make some sushi after this uh, let's see there's a ton but I'm just looking for the slightly bigger ones Actually, I think I'm going to do a taste test right here. Let's try this one. Digesting, they eat the seaweed, so that's pretty much all that seaweed and some membrane. But I'll just wash it off. Just wash it off, and you're left with that right there. Mooney took my bait. use your fingers to pull them off. Bam. You need it just like that. Bam. Mm. Mm. Nice and sweet. I know some people don't like them because of the texture, but uh, it has this creamy texture. And this one's actually a little firm. It's got a little firmness to it. Um, but still really sweet. Let's find some bigger ones. Oh, look at this abalone. That's probably... I just want to measure it out. Oh, damn. That's a 9-incher. It's a 9-inch abalone right there.
Beautiful. So with uni, if you have a California fishing license, you can uh, harvest up to 30 uni per day. So that's a lot. Um, yeah, this is a good one. It's on there so tight. get in there with the knife too I got it <gasps> oh that was some fucking work right there damn, uh, damn. Like... nice that's a good one wow all right sweet we, we get a pick of you with that one all right so if you ever come out here you got to be be careful of the seaweed and the slippery rocks but also when the tide starts coming in it's going to get too much water here and you're not going to be able to get back across so you got to always keep the tide in mind because and right now for me the tide's coming in so i got to get back i have nishiki rice and i got uni so i'm gonna cook this i'm gonna make some sushi Yeah, this one's actually kind of dark. It's what? Kind of dark. Uh, really dark in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All you do is take a spoon. Damn. Let's try it. It's kind of dark, so I don't know if this would taste good. But Can do it. Just... That's the teeth right there. Teeth? Yeah, these are the urchin teeth. Drain all this out. And just break it up like that. I usually use the back of the spoon and kind of scrape it off just like that boom and this one piece will come out oh nice fatty oh that's a fat piece right there look at that how's my rice going it's not boiling yet scrape it out scrape it out just bam. Oh, damn, these are fat. That's like a... Boom. Uh, and later, later on, you can wash this. Uh -huh. Have a nice bowl. <laughs> yeah. I think the wind is too high and it's not cooking the rice. I think I'm going to put it down. Yeah, it's completely empty now. For you, now, I can't cook my rice. You don't have another canister? Because the canister, the canister is empty now. 
Yeah, no, I don't have another one. So we're gonna just eat a sashimi. Oh, that was a really good opportunity. So, goddamn. <laughs> Got a little plate here. Huh? I was just kidding. A little soy sauce on there. Some soy sauce action. Mm hmm. Tastes like uni. <laughs> you want to try one? Take it. Put some soy sauce on there. How's it? Yeah. That's the nice sun right there. Uh -huh. Finally came out. We haven't seen sun this entire time. Look at that view now. Mm -hmm. Nice and sparkly. Well, we got a good amount of uni, but the cooking didn't go as planned. I ran out of the canister fuel, so didn't get to cook the rice, so we just ate it sashimi style. Subscribe for more Outdoor Chef Life.